let's venture right into this. If you weren't here last week, if you were absent, definitely just watch the replay for the first page. We had covered that already. We're going to jump right into our second page. So if you have the book version, grab that. You can watch the PDF and follow it right on the screen there. Or if you have it printed, remember I have this available for you in PDF form to print. And you can take notes on and different things right in the content portal for VIP. Okay, so whatever you prefer, let's jump right into it. All right, just like last week, it's going to be pretty complex, some of the words, some of the phrases, but it's going to break down. Remember, everything that you want to manifest, we want to have a clear awareness and clear faith for it. Whatever amount of money you've set the intention for, the amount of clients you want, whatever it is, the success, the person you want in your life, we just set that clearly in image and then follow a process. So let's jump right into the process. We're going to start with this now let us see paragraph here. So if you're in your book, just find that paragraph again. Now let us see if we can. Now let us see if we can get an idea of the different stages by which the things in the world have come to be. Troward says, if we can get at the working principle, which is producing these results, we can very quickly and easily give it personal application and basically achieve all of your goals and manifest everything you want. First, we find that the thought of originating life or spirit about itself is its simple awareness of its own being. And this produced a primary ether, a universal substance out of which everything in the world must grow. So basically, in essence, there's one thing that creates everything. And Al, I see on video here, your desire, the business you want, the success in life, everything that you're heading towards right now, as we're speaking these words, is going to be created by the same stuff that got you right to where you're sitting right now in your home. The same path, the same achievements, everything you've done so far in your life, that same substance is being used to achieve the things you want in the coming days, weeks, and months. Emma, same thing for you building your team. I see on video here as well. All the people you've ever attracted, all the sales you've ever had, were all created from the same exact process and the same exact energy. So if you can do that, you can also multiply that by 10, 100x, using the same thinking substance you've already used. So for everyone here, remember your desires are coming through with the same actual energy you've done to achieve anything ever in your life. Troward also tells us, we're going to the next paragraph, that though this awareness of being is a necessary foundation for any further possibilities, it's not much to talk about. Okay, so it just is. It is the same with individualized spirit, which is yourself. Before you would entertain the idea of making a mental picture of your desires being at all practical, you must have some idea of your being, of your I am. And just as soon as you are conscious of your I amness, you begin to wish to enjoy the freedom which this consciousness suggests. You want to do more and be more. And as you fulfill this desire within yourself, localized spirit begins conscious activities within you or in you. So the idea here is, why are you visualizing any of us? Why would I visualize? The only reason for that is because you are the I am. You are the creative energy. You have that power. Visualizing isn't just to visualize. Affirmations aren't to do affirmations. They're techniques to allow yourself to become one with your creative center. So think of your imagination as this plastic substance. We're going to be covering this. And Christine, I know you had the, uh, the question there with the plastic substance. And Trevor, you had a beautiful idea as well. They had posted about kind of what you know, that energy is and what it is uh, in, in the forms of end scenes, imagination, all that good stuff, right? We want to think of our imagination like we talked last week as a plastic substance. You can mold it. 
And as you mold it and put it towards a certain direction or focus, that's what starts to come to be. Uh, Vladimir, I see your hand raised there. Let's take one more paragraph here and then we'll go through if you have a clarity question or anything around this. Let's go one more here. The thing you are most concerned with is the specific action of the creative spirit of life, universal mind specialized. The localized God germ in you is your personality, your individuality, and since the joy of absolute freedom is the inherent nature of this God germ, it is natural that it should endeavor to enjoy itself through its specific center. And as you grow in the comprehension that your being, your individuality, is God particularizing itself, you naturally develop divine tendencies. Okay, lots of words, so let's put it into one simple statement. The reason why you want to manifest what you want to manifest is because you are the universe trying to expand itself. And that's just the coolest thing to know. Because if it's the universe or God itself trying to expand itself, it therefore means it is absolutely possible. Every desire that you have is absolutely possible. And inevitable as you follow the process. Okay. You and the universe co-create together. And as you co-create together, remember the universe has no limit. It has all the tools, it has all the opportunities. It's connected to every person that you could ever have as a customer to every person you could ever have to come forth with an idea. You and the universe co-create. That's how it becomes possible. As human beings, yeah, I might have some limitation of some sort of, you know, in this physical limited world, if you will. But with the co-creation of the universe, which we're always doing, it allows the unlimited possibility. 